Do you find creating datum plane in PTC Creo parametric challenging? Then worry not guys, in this video, we're going to cover it all. Hey there everyone, my name is Preetam and you're watching Engineering with Preetam. In this video, we will talk about how we can create a different type or variety of datum plane inside PTC Creo parametric. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so now here you can see um, I am in my computer screen and you might be aware of if you have seen our previous video, I have created this model while showcasing revolve tool. Now here, let's start with some of very basic plane. Let me actually delete this section view. So here we can see a very basic template of PTZ Creo parametric that offers us these three datum planes and then this coordinate system. Let's start with very basic datum plane, which is offset datum plane. In order to create offset datum plane, simply you need to go to model, click on plane, and now here you need to choose which plane you want to create another parallel plane. For example, I would like to create a datum plane that is parallel to top plane. So I can select top. Now here I can give it a distance. So let me give it a distance of 100. There we go, guys. We have created an offset plane that is 100 mm offset to top. And if you would like to, you know, edit it, then you simply can make a double click and then can increase or decrease its distance. It is that easy, guys. In order to refresh in PTZ Creo parametric, for those who are not aware of, you need to press Ctrl and Z to regenerate, and then you will see your model and view will get updated. Now let's see how we can create an angular plane inside PTZ Creo parametric. For that, uh, we require two references. First one could be axis and another one could be, uh, you know, any plane or it could be uh, another point that will meet our datum plane requirement. So here yeah, we have got this datum plane available and we do need axis. We need to think of along which axis your plane will be pivoted. So here I can choose X and now if I go here in datum plane, here let's provide him reference. First one could be this datum axis. And now we need to press control button and now need to provide another reference. So I have provided this plane as a reference. Now here I can specify the value. For example, I would like to create this angle plane at a 30 degree. I can do that. And then if you would like to flip it, I can do that. And in this way guys, we can create angular datum plane inside PTC Creo parametric. Now let me actually create one such geometry that's going to help us to showcase another different type of entities. And let's try to make it something simple. Okay, there we go. So let's say uh, we have got these three points. Let me also create these three points from which I want my plane to go through. Now we have got these three point. Let's create this three point plane that passes through these three point. In this way, guys, we can create this three point datum plane. Let me actually create something different. Um, let's use a revolve, which we have just learned in our previous video. Let me actually create something like this. And let's revolve this obviously along this axis and here i would like to create a curve along this surface for that i can use this intersect and now um what i want is i would like to create a point at certain distance at certain distance let's make it 0 0.9 relative and now uh, for example I would like to create a plane that passes through this point and through this curve. Okay, so let's create this plane. For that, what I can do is I can click on plane. Now let's select this point and this curve. So we have created this plane which passes through this point and is normal to this curve. If you want to see what I said, then uh, here you can see this plane is passing through this point and is normal to this curve. So in this way guys, we can create a plane that passes through a particular curve. We can also create something which is just opposite of that. For that, I have created this another axis, which is radially outward from this surface. 
now i can actually create the plane here which passes through this point and is radially outward so this is also another way of creating plane you can also create pattern of plane um, let's say you would like to create four different plane that revolve around it so we just created this revolve plane so in this way guys uh, we can create this kind of plane now let me actually delete this and we will see another variants of planes let me also delete these now again we went to basic now this time let's use extrude simple rectangle and now let's say um, you would like to create a plane and now here I'm going to add another extrude something like this Now here also, let's say I would like to create a plane that passes through this edge and this edge. So two line also it's sufficient enough to create a plane. Then this way guys, uh, we can create this kind of plane. Now let's talk about angular bisector plane. So, so we can see here, these are two plane uh, which are meeting at certain point and I would like to create a plane that is placed in between these two plane. For that, again, let's click on plane, select these both uh, planes. So first one is this one and then second plane is this. Now here you can see this is bisector one, um, which I do not want. I want bisector two. Let's click on it. And now you can see that we have created this mid plane which is in between these two planes so let's check out actually the angle of this one for that we can go to analysis click on angle and now let's use this one and this one here we can see this is 14.135 now let's check this one and this one this one is also same just we have checked through opposite direction so that's why we can see the values coming like this but um, if I check through here that's why it is showing value um, in opposite direction but if you simply you know if you simply subtract this value from 180 and write 165.865 again you will get same value which is 14.135 so this is also another variety or variant of plane that you can easily create inside PTC Creo Parametric similarly not in terms of angle but you can also create a mid plane that passes through two parallel lines so for example these are the two parallel lines and i can create this mid plane in between these two parallel features that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational to follow entire ptc creo series you can follow and subscribe to this channel for more such content and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye